I got a little overconfident. I will be back here in just a minute. <laughs> Liquid confidence doesn't mean I'm good at games. Hello, hello everyone. My name's Maya. In case you're new here, I play video games because I feel like it. I do have a full-time job. I'm a bartender now, so in case you haven't heard, I get to make drinks for a living and I'm actually really enjoying it. But on a separate note, I do have to preface this entire video by saying I've had a little liquid courage tonight. So I apologize for the rambling. I apologize for the disjointed thoughts. And I also apologize for the fact that I will probably ramble about my crush. So I'm going to be a little embarrassed if he ever finds these videos in the future. Either A, because we started dating, or B, because he's now a friend. And he gets to hear all the random thoughts I had about him. So, but regardless, you guys get to enjoy my video. You get to enjoy me rambling. And we're going to hop right into this. So if you like this, you like this. If you don't, you don't. But either way, we're going to hop into some Bloodborne if you can't tell by what's behind us. So, we're going to change the camera view real quick. We're just going to... do do And... Whoa! We're small. <laughs> it's, been a, it's been a week since I posted a video. But we're going to hop right into this. We're going to... Time to get to another boss today, do some exploring, and have a little fun. I am waiting on the casting of Frank Stone to finish uploading, and then I will be recording this after this video because it's a late night for me, currently 10.46 at night. But, like I said, I've had some liquid courage, so I'm wired right now. I am, in fact, wired. Um, Let's see, what are we doing? We are going to the Grand Cathedral. Yeah, the, Gant, the Grand Cathedral. But like I said, I'm a little wired tonight. I am very full of energy because I've had my liquid courage. But I have to preface this. I My crush got off at 4 o'clock today. He's a lifeguard. He got, he got off at 4 o'clock today. And the pool that I work at closes at 10. The resort I work at closes at 10 to the, uh, to the overnight guests. And he got off at 4 o'clock today. So he sat in the bar with us all day and, you know, just chatted and... I know it's nothing that exciting, you know. He just got he just sat there and chatted with us, but he also at one point pulled his sunglasses out, sun, his sunglasses out, and he like hold on, and he like took them like this, and it like pulled his hair back so perfectly. Oh my god, I don't understand how he's so pretty. I really don't understand how this man is so pretty, and I'm gonna be completely lost. I was straight up with him. I'm like I told him I liked him. I told him I've had a crush on him since like high school. Because I've known him uh, about him for at least that long. But I don't know. He also admitted he had a crush on a different girl, which completely valid. But as long as he's not in a, an actual relationship, I told him I would be very honest about my feelings and that I would probably continue to pursue him until I until he otherwise tells me that he's in a relationship. But you also don't willingly hang out at a bar with a girl that you know likes you. <laughs> Unless you know that you're willing to, I don't know, you just don't willingly hang out at a bar with a girl that likes you if you don't maybe like them a little back. Ugh, I don't know, I'm just, I'm very hopeful. Like, he might just see me as a friend, but I'm also just incredibly hopeful that maybe one day he will see me the same way. So we'll see. But we are here to play some Bloodborne. Remember last time how I ran away from this guy? We are killing him this time because we have full blood vials. See, all we needed was... The casting of Frankstone is uploaded. Is updated. That's all we care about. But, um... He has health. Oh, shit, I might have... I might regret this. I don't regret it. It's fine. We're fine. We'll just continue to plunge attack him, I guess. Plunge attacks don't really work the same way in Bloodborne as they do in Dark Souls, of which I will be playing Dark Souls at some point. I really have to text my my, my best friend back. I love her. Oh, shit. Okay, this is fine. <gasps> no, no, I, I... I got a little distracted because I, like I just said, I needed to text my best friend back. She didn't take a drink from me. She got off work at five and I, she was driving 
an hour and a half away to the nearest to the nearest like big city and she was she was going to out to dinner and she eat with a friend and i was like oh you know take a drink get a drink for me since i obviously can't drink tonight i took one drink girl hold on hold on i gotta text this girl back all the fucking drama that happened tonight i'm flabbergasted right now hold on i'll be right back all right we're back take two on trying to he has my fucking blood echoes this motherfucker Okay, now we have to beat him because he has our blood echoes. Oh god, I pressed the wrong button. Okay, try this again. Come on, we can get we can get these parries, right? We can figure this out. E it just takes us a little practice. He and he's down. Mm, take that! Okay, I do have to say, the dude I'm crushing on says he, says he's beaten Dark Souls 1 and 2. He's never played Bloodborne because he's not really a PlayStation player, but to have beaten Dark Souls 1 and 3? Oh! <laughs> makes him hotter in my eyes, I'm not even gonna lie. It does make him hotter in my eyes. Um, now that the struggle has been beaten, we're just gonna pop down, we're gonna grab this. One of these has some gunners on it. I'm sorry, you were saying? Okay, this guy is easy enough to beat. Okay, uh... I just need... Okay, get some healing in, and we can retry this parry. I lied. I lied. Okay, come on. Come on. I can do this. I can't do this. Oh my god, I'm gonna kill myself. I'm gonna kill myself. Like, actually? What am I thinking right now? The truth is, I'm not thinking. Thank you for the blood vials, though. The truth is, in fact, that I am not thinking, and I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, get out the gun again. Um, we will have to reload here, because there are some... There are some... Wandering nightmares that load in right here, but I want to kill him first before I even think about them Come on, come on do a do an attack that I can parry Thank you, thank you. I appreciate that Okay Now to do the quick put out and reload the wandering nightmares <laughs> is there something specific you guys want to see from me i know that i try to upload at least twice a week i know it doesn't always happen but outside of that like recording wise editing wise is there something specific that you would like to see from me as a creator that's still learning what works is there something specific that you think that i need to work on um whether it be editing because i know i always need to work on editing whether it be audio, I'm still trying to figure out a good way to set up my audio. I currently have my microphone, most of my monitors, a little out of reach. I think I have my audio set up to a decent level, but there are still times where I think I have problems with this. So is there something specific that you think I need to work on? And this is me asking for criticism, not bullying, criticism. If you have specific criticisms that you think would help me as a creator to learn to be a better creator, I would love to hear them. But outright bullying is just going to be is unnecessary and you know not something i'm here to deal with i am whipping <laughs> thank you for the twin bloodstone shards i appreciate them because then we can update our weapon okay so we can't really do anything here yet this is where we're gonna this is how we get to a certain area of the game and i don't remember what area it is 
we need to get a specific item. And then there is a enemy here that we can't see that will grab us. We can't do anything about it now. So for now, we are turning tail and running. So I'm going to cut here and we I will cut back to you closer to the area we need to be in. So I will see you guys here in a minute. All right, guys, we're back. We're just on the other side of the stairs from those big guys um, where we fought Amelia. So we're just running past them, picking up some items, and we're going to make our way to the next area of the game where we're going to fight our next boss. Uh, to be fair, we could just bypass Amelia entirely because now we have the password to go down the stairs. But this section is an optional boss, and I'd much rather get them out of the way so we can fight another optional boss. That is way more interesting. I just realized I have to get rid of some insight. Hmm. We can do that after we reach the lantern, I guess. It'll probably be fine, if I'm being honest. Okay. There are a lot of gunners in this area. So we have to be very careful about what we do. Oh. He's dead. Another gunner saw us, so we just need to be really careful to stay out of the way. Hit him! Hit him! Hit him! Hit him! Hit him! Thank you. I ran out of stamina there for a second, and that was a little concerning, if I'm being honest. Be very careful, and we'll be fine. You're dead. Give me that. Give me that. I did that for pebbles. I mean, I guess I did it for pebbles. It's fine. Pebbles are fine. I didn't realize they could drop bone arrow. Bone marrow ash. That's actually pretty cool. I got a little overconfident. I will be back here in just a minute. <laughs> liquid confidence doesn't mean I'm good at games. That being said, I am drinking water, so that liquid confidence should be going down at some point. But liquid confidence does not mean I'm good at games. It just means I'm here. I'll be back with you guys in a minute. All right, everyone. Take two for the gunners. We're gonna go take some gunners out and take out some dogs and we'll be fine. I'm gonna regret this entirely, aren't I? I'm sorry, but you thought? I whipped? I whiff. I whiff. Did you hear that? I fucking whiff. It's fine. Okay. This is cool. This is fine. Um, where? How do you see me from over there? You fucking loser. Silver bullets. Oh, there's an item back here. There's an item back here? How do I get over there? Please you. Hold on. I'm trying to figure some shit out. Give me a minute. I will give you the attention you require in just a minute, I promise. You have my bloodstone shards. Not my bloodstone, my blood echoes. I know what I'm saying, I promise. There was an exploding pot right there. There was, in fact, an exploding pot right there, and I walked right in that. Thank you for giving those back. I really appreciate the thought. I did not realize you guys could run away. Or that you guys had a saber? Yeah. 
See, you're dead now. Okay. Oh my god. I'm going to regret life here in just a second. Hold on, my 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 light died. My light died. I will fix it as soon as these guys are dead, I promise. Okay. <laughs> Alright. They're dead. Lot twist, I missed one as I try to fix my fucking light. Oh my god, it's stuck. <laughs> So you know what I need to invest in? I need to invest in some some different lights that don't require a remote that that require a remote to work that make it easier to you know fix them. These lights don't do that. <laughs> okay, this is fine. I've stopped freaking out. This is fine. Uh, I think I grabbed all the items from over here. Yeah, nothing here. I think over here is some more bone marrow ash. So quick. Thick cold blood, thick cold blood, the more bone, yeah, the bone marrow ash. It's super useful stuff if you have like a blood tinge build. I almost never use a blood tinge build, so it's just, you know, kind of use useless to me. Because like if you go into it and you actually. Oh my god, I made a mistake, I made a mistake, I made a mistake. I will finish that thought here in just a second, I promise. Apparently I forgot there were dogs and another gunman there. I forgot there was a patrolling gunman and a patrolling some patrolling dogs um, on this path. Okay. Okay, The that now that that's done, I can finish my thought. Going down to what I was saying, the bone marrow ash, which is where? Right here. Uh, not that. It's an additional medium that strengthens quicksilver bullets. According to the workshop, this is a special bone marrow ash collected from Hemwick Charnel Lane. Invaluable to hunters with weak blood tinge who acquire the use of stronger firearms. It makes your it makes your firearm stronger. It's interesting, not super useful to me though. So at least for this character, I'll probably be selling it because it's not super useful and I can use the it goes. But for now. We are currently 17 minutes into this episode, and I've died, what, four or five times now? <laughs> it's fine. But I want to get this video recorded tonight, so that way tomorrow morning I can record some passing of Frank Stone when I'm sober. And we can just have some fun. You know? Get this posted, get, get an episode of this posted, get an episode of passing of Frank Stone posted. Apparently that game is shorter than I thought it was going to be. Apparently it's only like six hours long, which is a little disappointing. But I was expecting some more. But it is what it is. Okay, first things first. Uh, actually, I think we're fine with the... I think we're fine with the insight we have. So we're just gonna go for it. Over heal. There, I know there's a lady back that way. Murky, murky gemstone. I didn't realize they could drop those. That's interesting. Okay, there's a lady back this way with a hawk poker. I believe we can also talk to patches here. Correct me if I'm wrong. I'm probably wrong. If I'm being honest, I'm probably wrong. Grab this, which is some more twin bloodstone shards. I also have to say the boss of this area is not too terribly hard. It's just an interesting boss fight. Specifically based off the amount of insight you have. So I will probably be fine fighting the boss with the insight I have, but you know, if you want an easier boss fight, you can just go use up all your insight.
I mean, after the day I had at work, I also feel that. Sometimes you do just have those kinds of days. Hold on, I need to text. I need to text my first, my best friend back. I need to text them back. They need to. I need them to know how much I appreciate them. So, give me like two minutes. I'll be right back. I'm sorry for all the pauses in this video. I'm back. Let's continue. I know that it was less than a second for you, but that was quite a bit more than two minutes for me. I didn't mean to press that button. It's fine. It's like barely, they have barely any health left. So there's going to be a dog running down here. There's going to be a person shooting me from up there. And I have a tree. She's going to come running down. Stay out of the way of a hot poker. Ba -ba -ba poker face, ba poker face. Oh, she's throwing molotovs. That's what's happening. I did not remember what she was doing. She's apparently throwing molotovs at me. You draw molotovs? I mean, you can, but you did. Oh well, it's fine. We're just going to continue rushing through this area for items and get ourselves to the boss. I will be parrying because there's more big guys. There's a Molotov lady up there. We need to be careful for her because those Molotovs will hurt us. See what I mean? Unnecessary. Freaking unnecessary. This lady comes pulling out the Molotovs like a goddamn idiot. Like, heck you. Did I ask for your input? The answer is no. God, what are what are these old women thinking nowadays? I'm sorry if I'm being super loud. I'm so sorry. Am I being too loud? You know, I just have to apologize and move on because I think you guys would much prefer to just have an just to have a video than to have nothing. And even if I am being a little loud, I am trying to figure this shit out. I I'm curtsying. I'm curtsying. That is what that is what the executioner is doing right now. She is curtsying to you guys. But as I was saying, I'm. I record in a fully wood room, which you know what that does for the reverb, for like my voice. And on top of that, I use a condenser mic because I personally cannot get behind a dynamic mic. I can't make it sound as good as I think I'd like to sound. And it's just really hard for me to use. If you guys have like suggestions for for a like a dynamic mic, I will take them. I just have a really hard time getting them to sound the way I want them to sound. So I'd much prefer to just work with something I'm used to, which is, in fact, a condenser mic. I think I'm go actually going to transition to a pencil mic at some point. I'm looking at a couple different ones because I know, I know, pencil mics and the, and the you know, shotgun mics, those are much better for the outdoors. But that's also something I can... I can set up above my head where you guys can hear me, but I can put it a little farther away and you can still hear me and have it be clear. Because I know I like to, I like to enunciate. I like to make sure that my voice is heard. So sometimes it's a little too loud and that's a little hard to take care of, especially considering my mic is currently, for your guys' information, it's currently like maybe a foot and a half away. So the proper distance is probably closer to like, I don't know, maybe a foot away. Like, anywhere between, like, six inches to a foot away. But, like, I don't know. It's just really hard to figure things out. So, if you have tips, tricks, videos you watch, if you record videos yourself on, like, how you guys figure out your audio, I would love to know about them. Because I would love to get better at this. I do have fun with this. And, obviously, I'm trying to make, not, like, a career out of it, but I'm trying to, I'm trying to make this a hobby, like, worth doing.
Here I am just rambling away and I fucking die again. I'll be right back. I will be right back. Fuck. <laughs> God, this is this is the game you have to play sober because otherwise you just become a fucking idiot. You just become a fucking idiot if you try to play this game any other way. I will be right back. All right, we're back. Da 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 da. Okay, right. you have my blood echoes, you dirty whore. Come here. Come on, you got my blood echoes. This is a lesson to all of you. Play Bloodborne sober, and maybe you won't die as nearly as often. We're back and she's dead, the little Molotov motherfucker. And we got our blood echoes back, we got some blood vials, we're good to go. I have to be honest, I don't know how long this episode is going to be, but as soon as we hit... As soon as we kill this fucking boss for this level, we're Audi. We're Audi 5000, being honest. Hey, you're alive. You thought that you could get me. But I'm not that big of a fucking idiot. Even when I'm not this sober. There's a dog running at me. Heck you, heck you. Man, there's a lot of dead horses. That's kind of sad. Ooh, why are these smoking like that? It's kind of gross. If I do remember right, there was a wandering nightmare like right above these stairs. Somewhere. Yeah. Excuse you! Thank you! I would love your attention. Okay, this is the way we need to go, but there was... Something back here, right? There was like a little walkway. Now see, that's where we walked up. No, this is where we walked up. This is where we climbed up. And there's a dude with a Gatling gun up here. Yeah? Not a Gatling gun, he just has like a little hard hitting. Why is my camera down? How long is. You know. I can't even argue. I can't even argue. We're gonna ignore this. It's fine. This episode is a train wreck, but it's fine. Regardless, you guys will either enjoy it or you won't enjoy it, but it's going up as is. So... Peace. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like as I become, like, as I start recording more videos, I just... It's not that I care less, but I just start to, like, criticisms. Like, not criticisms, but, you know, bullying. Like, like oh, shit, you're kind of bad at this? Or, like, oh, shit, like, you could, you could def, I don't know. Just, you know, things that, like, make, that would make you feel bad as a character, as a person, and not as, like, just, like, genuine criticism to help you make, to, like, help you get better. I just start, I just, at that point where I just don't care what you think. It's something, this is something I enjoy to do. Whether it's good, whether it's bad, I enjoy doing it, and that's kind of all this is for. I'm glad that if you do enjoy it, that you enjoy it, but I'm doing this more for me than than for you. This is a way for me to play, to either play games I've never played, and or replay games I know I love to play. Because I'd much rather get enjoyment out of life than to worry about what could be white right now. Because I know I'm not a very happy person. I know I struggle deeply with a lot of the things that I have to go through in life. Somebody died somewhere. And playing video games and posting them on the internet, for whatever reason, is is seriously helping me right now. So, for those of you that enjoy this, sincerely you, Bat Williams, I am incredibly thankful for you guys. Because not only is this helping... Not only is this something that you guys are apparently enjoying to watch, but it's helping my mental state. It's making me feel more confident. It's making me feel happy. And I don't know. I just, like I said, 
I'm sure this is some like this will never be a career for me, but it's always going to be something that I'll at least enjoy doing. This got this is a really deep episode, and I apologize for that because we are currently half an hour in, and you're having to deal with this. Okay, okay. Um, we're just gonna move on. Do I have something to say? Oh, I heard somebody say something. Okay, we're gonna. Parry you. Come on. Do a do an attack that I can parry. Dead? He's dead. Okay. We're gonna make sure we're fully healed. We're gonna go open. You see us? No. We're gonna make sure we open up the shortcut so if we die again, we can just run straight here. Uh make sure we have some bullets. I know there's some dogs here. You want to make sure we get this guy. I don't know if there were any other items around this specific area, though. Not seeing them, but I do know there are dogs. But I want to take. I want to make sure we take out the big guy first, because it's gonna suck if he randomly runs into the middle of the fight with the dogs. Thank you for the blood vials. They're very much appreciated. Okay, I do know that there is another Molotov lady down here. Oh my god, hit him! Hit him! Hit him! Oh my god, hit him! Like I said, I know there's another Molotov lady down here somewhere. I'm just very committed to making sure we take out the dogs because if you know anything about the Soulsborne series, sometimes dogs are the worst enemies. Take you out when you're least expecting it. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Loser. You fucking thought. Yeah, yeah. Also, this is how we're going to get to another optional boss. This little stone here, this is going to take us to another optional boss. It's going to be great. I personally think it's one of the cooler sections of the games, even though it has one of the worst enemies of the game, or two of the worst enemies of the game, if I'm being honest. So, I'm excited to see that section of the game again. Because sometimes I just bypass it completely because I don't want to come all the way back over here. Uh, let me up. That rune is also kind of completely worthless. I believe it's a poison, a slow poison rune at that. It, like, adds some more, like, slow... Oh, I'm falling! Some more slow poison resistance. Alright, there's gonna be two more big guys up in this area. There'll be one down below, and then one walking down. If I'm remembering this right. No, it's just the one. There's a Molotov lady. That's what the other, the other enemy for this area was. I'm... I missed... Come on, come here. Come faster. Let's go. Come on. Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? Come on. I know you want it. Come on. Who's a good boy? Apparently, yeah, I'm not a good boy. Okay, moving on, we're gonna go grab 
the item of the chest here, and then we're gonna go kill some bitches. Some dastardly witches of Hamwick Colonel Lane. After these old ladies. Oh my god. Focus on one of them. I... Mm, I swear that went through her. But apparently it didn't, but I swear that did. This will probably be enough blood vials, if I'm being honest. Okay, there is a... Huh. Did it disappear already? It must have disappeared already. Okay, we'll have to do another put out to get the wandering nightmare that's right here. I don't think I'm gonna edit out any of the any of the pauses I made in this video. I apologize. You're going to get a mostly raw footage. But sometimes that's great. I don't think you can get the true tipsy experience of Maya if I cut out all the funny shit. So you'll get a mostly raw experience here. I just realized I need to find my swimsuit. <laughs> has it dropped yet? Bro, I know there's a wandering nightmare right here. Where is it? Hold on, yo. I know there's a wandering nightmare here. Excuse me? Hold on, hold on. I know there's a wandering nightmare right here. Am I going crazy? Hold on, hold on. Okay, we put out, we, we're back. I swear there's a fucking... It usually drops right here, does it not? Am I crazy? See, no, no, I was right. Why wasn't he dropping? You guys saw that, right? Why wasn't he dropping? Oh well, it's fine. It's fine, it happened now, so it's fine. Okay, we're fully healed. Not good, good, but we're fine. Um, let's see. Before we commit, do I need, we'll use Fire Reaper. Where's she at? Where's she at? Right here? Okay, where'd she go? Right there? Right here? Where'd she... Ignoring that dude, because fuck you, that's why. Where'd she go again? She up top. There's two of them, just a reminder. Up here. Not right here. God, that used up all my fire paper, if I'm being honest. That was... That did no damage? That did no damage. Why is this doing no damage? Actually? Hold on. I'm a little salty. You fucking thought. You thought you were the bitch. Okay, if we don't kill her right away, she fucking... The other one revives. The other one's probably going to revive before we kill her, if I'm being honest.
Okay, where did she go? Come on, where'd you go, little lady? The other one revived, and I would really like to kill you guys. No! No, 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 she'll scoop out our, she'll scoop out our eyes! No, 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 no! Okay, so she's dead again. Where did the other one go? Where did she go? I'm lost. You dumb bitch. God. They're not a hard fight. I'm just an idiot. And of course we're bowing. Because apparently that was relevant. Whatever. Whatever. All right, moving out. And now we can get the stupid little um, rune tool. I need to charge my battery, it's fine. The rune workshop tool. And this will allow us to apply the carol runes now. So let's get out of here. Where do we want to go next? So our two options, we can either go fight the Shadows of Yarnum, or we can go fight Dark Beast Arl. What do we want to do? That is the real question. Okay. Sell these, because we will never use them. Sell these. Sell this. Fine. Fine. Or, better yet, we could also do some Chowl's Dungeons. We could also do some chalice dungeons, guys. I don't know. What do we want to do? This is a hard decision. Oh, yeah. Is Garman back here? No Garman. But we can memorize a Carol Rune to acquire its Eldritch Strength. Communion gives us one. Max files held up to one. Max silver bolts up to four. More blood echoes from um, visceral attack. Physical damage reduction plus three. And temp boost to transform. We're obviously going to put hair on. We'll probably put quicksilver bullets on. And... Hmm, probably physical damage reduction plus three. We don't have any oath memories yet. But we will get some eventually, I promise. They will be pretty cool. But we're going to fortify our Ludwig's Holy Blade. To a plus six. Chef's kiss. And we have enough to bring the salt cleaver up? Hell yeah. And is there any better gemstones that we can put on this? Uh, is this really that good? That's uh, not bad all around. Okay. What about this? Literally nothing. Okay. We can sell all, pretty much all the other gemstones, I guess. We don't have any blood or ones to put on the hunter pistol. Yeah, so we can sell all the other gemstones. Sell the bone marrow ash. Before I forget, what can we buy with our insight? Because we don't really want the insight. We don't care about it. We'll get. We can get one, so we can get two of the strongest mat to upgrade our weapons, and we really only want one, we really only need the one for our Lou Riggs Holy Blade. Henrik set is good for bolt. If we buy Henrik set, because we'll want this for when we go to buy, when we go to fight Dark Beast Carl. This will be pretty helpful, so we'll buy that. Saw five on your blood cocktails. And we'll hold on to them. We'll hold on to them. They're fine. And then the gold pendant. We can break this. Use it. Use it. 
The gold blood gem. I don't remember if this is better or not. Nope. Okay, it was not better for this, so we can probably put it on our saw cleaver, so. It's fine. But the next thing was, I was going to use... Well, these. Because we have them. Come on, come on to the radio on a Saturday night and I hit the dance floor, hit the dance floor, you're all I need. Gotta do my best, do my best and try to succeed. I don't even remember what song that is. On, I definitely don't Hunter. think I'm singing that right. What is it you did? I don't know, do you have anything new to say? Hunters have told me about the church, about the gods and their love. But do the gods love We have had the conversation, but we'll let her finish it. I am a doll created by you humans. Would you ever think to love me? Of course. I do love you. Isn't that how you've made me? Anyways, moving Very on. Very well, let me. So I'm going from 24 to 30. I've got six levels. Um, don't hate this. I don't hate this. We're gonna go with this. I don't hate it. Farewell. May you find your. I'm sure. Anyways, uh, we don't have any new NPCs to talk to this level. Well. No, we don't have any new NPCs to talk to this level. So, this is where we're going to call it today. I do hope you guys are enjoying this. If you liked this, please let me know. Why am I finishing my spiel? We haven't even said goodbye with the executioner yet. Do we want to curtsy or do we want to wave? So curtsy us out of here. So, with that being said, we are going to exit out. I'm going to change my camera view. All right. I do have to, I do know that this, this episode, this entire episode is a lot. It's rambling. It's disjointed. I've died quite a few times because I can't focus, but I do hope you guys enjoyed this. So I do have a question. I do have a question for you guys today. So if you watched this far, I would love for you guys to answer this in the comments down below. I have a theme when it comes to naming my cats. I have Mr. Merlot, named after red wine, and I have Mrs. Grey Goose, named after vodka. Do you guys have a theme when it comes to naming your animals? Because I would love to hear them. If you, I would love to hear what you guys have named your animals. I just think it's the coolest thing, especially when you stick to a theme. All of my all of my cats are named after alcohol. All of my fish are named after different Greek gods, and all of my hamsters have been named after different video game characters. So I would love to hear what you have named your animals. But that being said, if you like this video, please let me know in the comments down below. Hit that like button, share, subscribe, and either way, I try to post every Monday and Friday. But I will see you all in my next video. Bye-bye.